Chapter 3151A Heaven Shaking Saber, Ghosts and God's Fleet Hundreds of wounds opened up on Long Chen's body, and blood was constantly pouring out of them, it even leaked out of his mouth. His aura was raging so wildly because he couldn't control that much power. Seeing Long Chen's state, countless people came to an understanding about his previous words. Before this, Long Chen had a huge amount of energy leaking out of his body, forming his aura, it was wasted to reduce the damage to his body. Through repeated injuries and testing, he now sealed that energy within his body, causing his effective power to soar. However, his own body was unable to endure this energy and was injured even more badly than before. So he was telling the truth, heavens, just what cultivation technique does he train in? I heard that he created it himself. He merged the seven supreme yang technique and the starry river of the sky art into one. He had to come up with many areas himself because only a portion of both techniques remain. His path has already deviated from those two techniques. People had investigated Long Chen and had at least this much information on him. Then he really is a genius. However, no matter how strong the cultivation technique is, if he can't even control it properly and gets injured just by using it, there's a danger of him losing his life at any moment. Ah, uh, I wonder how far he can walk his path, an elder sighed emotionally over Long Chen. He clearly didn't have that high of an opinion for the self-created technique. If he could win the Tao discussion convention, his understanding of the Tao is clearly profound. Perhaps he really can blaze open an entirely new path. We can only watch in anticipation. Seeing Long Chen constantly bleeding, countless people felt various emotions. Long Chen had truly given them a deep impression. However, this terrifying power was also harming himself. Just how long could he last? Even if he could beat Ku Wuya, there was still Ji Yuan. Even though this attack from Long Chen had truly been stunning, the situation hadn't changed. It didn't seem like either side had any advantage. Even now, they couldn't tell who would win. The High Firmament Academy's disciples no longer dared to make a sound, they were afraid their voices would disturb Long Chen. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu's eyes were full of tears, seeing Long Chen's bloody state fill them with pain, but they couldn't help at all. Miu Qingyan was covering her mouth, her tears streaming down her face, she didn't want to watch Long Chen fighting like this, it seemed like he could lose his life at any moment. As for Lu Obing and the others, they clenched their fists, their palms sweaty, they were incredibly nervous. Ku Wuaya spat out a mouthful of blood, mixed inside were some broken bits of his insides. Long Chen, I didn't expect you to still have a move up your sleeves. Good, then let me see just how much blood you can bleed. Ku Wuaya smiled cruelly as he eyed the rivulets of blood flowing down Long Chen's body. I have so much blood that I can't run out. On the other hand, you shouldn't have treated her like that. You shouldn't have used her to anger me. When I get angry, the heavens will flip, the earth will be overturned, the cosmos will break, and the ten thousand deos will crumble. Mountains of corpses will rise and rivers of blood will flow. Long Chen's gaze was dark. As he spoke, he slowly pointed his saber toward the heavens. His voice was icy, almost like a curse from a heavenly devil, yet also like an imperial edict from a god. Hearing his words, People felt as if they could already see the scene he spoke of, a feeling of terror directly pierced their souls. Just at this moment, a giant saber image rumbled and tore through the chain barrier, it tore through the cl- What? The barrier was broken. What technique is this? Seeing this heavenly blade suddenly soar and break the layers of runic chains, everyone shot to their feet. Stop wondering and run, get the hell away from it, a divine lord shouted. Whether it was people in the inner or outer spectator stand, anyone in the path of this saber instantly fled to the side. Ku Wuaya was horrified to sense a terrifying power lock on him, he couldn't move and he felt minuscule in the face of that saber. Now, a sensation of death welled up within him, even the body of an immortal king was unable to protect him. Ji Yuai Yun, get over here, if I die, you're next. I don't care about the championship or Long Chen's life, they're yours shouted Ku Wuaya. Split the heavens. Just at this moment, a thunderous roar came from Long Chen, and the world changed color as the giant saber image slashed down, in front of countless shocked gazes, the chain barrier simply exploded upon contact with it, the saber image slashed straight down toward Ku Wuaya. 
This was a world-shaking attack, one that caused the River of Stars to shake and the 10,000 Deos to quake. An undefeatable will rose. It was as if the entire world was going to be split apart. Master, bless me with divine power to protect me. Gui Yun prayed and Imputa's figure in his manifestation quivered. Divine light fell on him. After that, his aura grew explosively, and he blazed as brightly as the sun. The power of a world king shrouded him as he appeared in front of Ku Wuaya. Ku Wuaya was delighted. He then spat out a mouthful of blood, and his manifestation rumbled. Countless figures appeared. There were millions of corpse monsters that flooded out and merged into his body. After that, Ku Wuaya's withered body instantly swelled up, as if his flesh and blood had been reborn. Dark runes also lit up all over his body. He then raised the remaining half of his wolf tooth club against Long Chen's attack. As Long Chen's saber fell, everything in its path was destroyed. The spectator stands were shattered, and the barrier that popped up was as flimsy as a bubble in front of this saber. Now, those people that were seated there originally felt a burst of fear. If it hadn't been for that Divine Lord's warning, they would have still been foolishly sitting there. The saber image fell upon Ji Yun and Ku Wuaya. As a result, both their manifestations crumbled, and the saber still didn't stop. It pierced through the chain barrier until it fully exploded. Broken fragments of the heavenly deos flew chaotically through the air. This was a truly world-shaking saber, one that even ghosts and gods would flee before. Seeing the wreckage of the martial stage, everyone stared in dumbfounded silence. Chapter 3152 Heavenly Flame Barrier The martial stage crumbled. This martial stage of unknown origin, which had existed for countless years and witnessed the battles of countless heavenly geniuses, was destroyed by Long Chen Saber. It was impossible to sense its aura any longer. The Saber image continued to strike the sea, unleashing a huge wave. Water and astral winds mixed into a tempest that seemed to unleash water arrows in every direction. Seeing this, everyone hastily worked together to block them. Even Divine Lords were forced to take action. What happened to Ku Wuaya and Ji Yuan? Did they die? It was now impossible to see Ku Wuaya and Ji Yuan. The two of them were devoured by that saber. Blood slowly dripped down Long Chen's saber, dropping into the sea and causing red flowers to bloom. That blood didn't dissipate for quite some time. There seemed to be flames burning within it. Long Chen's scales were broken and he was covered in wounds. In some places, the wounds were so deep that it was possible to see bones. His body was clearly unable to endure such a terrifying impact. He had used split the heavens, and the nine acupuncture points he activated had shattered his insides. Split the heavens innately possessed the will of going against the heavenly deos. On the martial heaven continent, the will of the heavenly deos was not as powerful and obvious since the laws were incomplete. Here, the heavenly deos were complete, so they did not allow any power to resist them. As a result, when Long Chen unleashed this move, he also endured a backlash from the heavenly deos. However, Long Chen had a gratified smile on his face. He had succeeded in bringing a technique from the mortal world to the immortal world. He would make the nine forms of Split the Heavens resound throughout the immortal world so that the old man could hear the name of Split the Heavens even down in the Yellow Springs. Long Chen seemed to be on the verge of collapse, but everyone who looked at him was filled with reverence. This was a true expert, someone who was so powerful that others could only look up to them. Suddenly, waves exploded from the sea, and a figure charged out of the waves. It was Ku Wuaya. However, half of his body was now missing. Even his immortal king's corpse was unable to endure Long Chen's attack. In his one remaining hand, a black rune that contained the aura of death flickered. It was as if millions of resentment spirits were sealed within it. Dai, Ku Wuaya roared furiously. Even together with Ji Yuai Yun, his body was unable to endure Long Chen's attack. However, Long Chen was also heavily wounded. Seeing this, Ku Wuaya would unleash all his remaining power to kill him now. Long Chen's body quivered ever so slightly. At the next moment, life energy spread throughout him, and those terrifying wounds instantly closed. What? Everyone was stunned. Those terrifying wounds had been directly suppressed. They were unaware that Long Chen had sucked out the primal chaos space's life energy to heal. Ku Wuaya's twisted face instantly fell into despair when he saw this. 
Just how was he supposed to fight Long Chen like this? Just as he panicked, a black saber sliced off his remaining arm. Ku Wuya was even worse off than Long Chen. His corpse body was now missing half of its runes, resulting in its power plummeting. It could no longer endure the attack of a treasure item. Long Chen's palm slammed into Ku Wuya's body. Flame runes flowed out, entering Ku Wuya's body and transforming into flame dragons that tightly bound him. Those flame dragons then viciously tore up Ku Wuya's body. His runes were already gone, and his core energy was used up. Hence, his physical body was no longer strong enough to endure this attack. Those flame dragons were able to pierce his body, causing him to scream and howl in pain. That sound made other people's hair stand on end. Its karmic flames refining the souls, startled cries rang out. This move had also been used against young Master Wuji. It directly pierced the heart to make people endure as much pain as they had caused. Unless a person had never done anything evil in their lifetime, this technique was absolutely terrifying. Heavenly Flame Barrier Navaloon.com With some one-handed seals, a giant sphere of flames appeared around this space, and under the illumination of the flames, people saw a lone black figure. That figure was trying to stealthily flee. You already agreed to work together with Kuwaya. Kuwaya would draw my attention, while you launched sneak attacks. What? Have you lost the courage to attack? Have you forgotten why I made this a one against two? All this effort, wasn't it just to make sure that you stay together, sneered Long Chen. Staring at that black figure, people were filled with disbelief. Someone as powerful as Ji Yui Yun, a world king's disciple, was actually fleeing, even he didn't dare to face Long Chen. The black figure completely ignored Long Chen's sneer. A dagger appeared and stabbed into the flame barrier. Ji Yui Yun knew that Long Chen had at most 30% of his energy left. In that last exchange, he had exhausted a great deal of his own energy and didn't have much more energy than Long Chen. Also, the power of Long Chen Saber was able to interrupt the transmission of Imputus Divine Energy to him. Hence, Ji Yui Yun was no longer able to borrow his master's power. When he had seen Long Chen so seriously injured, he had thought that with Ku Wuya, they could kill Long Chen. But when Long Chen instantly healed, that chance was lost. They no longer had the power to kill him. Hence, without caring about his face, Ji Yui Yun fled. Long Chen sneered when he saw Ji Yui Yun attempt to stab his way through the flame barrier. At this moment, his hand seals changed, and a lotus mark appeared on top of the barrier in front of Ji Yui Yun. When Ji Yui Yun stabbed it, it was like a sun had exploded. Ji Yui Yun screamed and the scent of roast pork filled the air. Ji Yui Yun was quite unlucky. Huo Long had just gained control over the Azure Rainbow Flame, and its flame power had soared. It had already condensed the World Extermination Flame Lotus within the barrier. If Ji Yui Yun had chosen to attack Long Chen at that moment, considering that they were both in weakened states, he might have had the slightest chance. Unfortunately, due to his injuries and exhaustion, he had chosen to flee. His spiritual perception had dropped, and he had even jumped into such an obvious trap. Just then, Long Chen's saber fell. He didn't give Ji Yui Yun any chance. Boom. Ji Yui Yun hastily blocked and his arm exploded, his dagger flying away. He smashed toward the flame barrier, and another lotus flower appeared on the barrier and opened its embrace to welcome him. Chapter 3153 Corpse Devil Sect Master Bastard Ji Yui Yun roared, unable to stop himself. Up in the air, he was unable to stop himself from flying into that flame lotus. Boom! When the flame lotus exploded, Ji Yui Yun screamed as his body was covered in flames. He spat out blood that was instantly incinerated by the flames. After a second roasting, Ji Yui Yun's plump body had thinned out quite a bit. Quite a bit of oil was squeezed out, but no one laughed at him. For the terrifying Ji Yui Yun to be screaming like this, it was almost unbelievable. This has to be the karmic flames refining the soul again. Otherwise, with his status, Ji Yui Yun wouldn't let himself scream like this. People's hearts and souls shuddered. To make such a person scream like this with no regard for his face was almost impossible. The fact that he was screaming only proved that he was suffering unbearable pain. I gave you a chance to fight me fairly, 
and we would fight with our true power, but you chose not to. Instead, you chose to run, only to fall into a sure death. Now, you no longer have any chance to fight me. You really are a fool, and a cowardly one at that. Real experts wave their blades at even stronger experts, but people like you put on a high and mighty exterior only to attack weaklings. Are you acting ruthless to cover up your own lack of ability and courage? Even your master is the same. He's nothing more than a dog. As for you, you only know how to bully the likes of the kind butterfly spirit race and the butterfly dance race. Then you reveal your true cowardly self against real experts. I suppose you can repent for your sins within the karmic flames. They will incinerate your souls to atone for your crimes. Long Chen's voice rang out like a god's declaration, shaking people to the core. This was also a pledge of justice for those slain, innocent spirits. Ad Ji Yui Yun struggled, but his body was wrapped in the lotus flames. No matter how he tried to break free, he was unable to escape its bindings. There was also Ku Wuaya who was wrapped in flame dragons and crying out miserably. Their screams resounded through the air. If you want to kill them, you can come. Once the karmic flames are unleashed, they can't be stopped. If you interrupt them, their souls will immediately disperse said Long Chen suddenly. Just then, an elder appeared outside the barrier of flames. This elder caused the members of the senior generation to cry out. The Corpse Devil Sex Sect Master the corpse devil sex sect master had concluded that Ku Wuaya had no ability to resist. Ji Yui Yun was in the same spot and couldn't save him, even though that sect master knew that interfering would cause a heart devil to grow within Ku Wuaya, he had no choice. However, when he heard Long Chen's words, his heart shook. He quickly did a spiritual probe and found that his words were true. Millions of invisible threads on top of Long Chen's flame barrier were connected to Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuaya souls. If an outer power broke this barrier, it really might cause the barrier to break along with their souls. Hence, his expression grew unsightly. He did doubt the veracity of Long Chen's words, but he didn't dare to take the risk. Ku Wu Aya was the successor of his corpse devil sect he didn't want him to die. Although Ku Wu Aya had lost his physical body, they had an ancient inheritance and secret arts that could assist him. If he continued to remain unrivaled, then that excess sharpness might actually not be a good thing. Giving him a blow might make him steady himself and focus more on cultivation. Thus, the sect master didn't dare to throw away Ku Wuaya's life yet. Other than that, his other fear was that Ji Yui Yun would die too if he interfered. Then he would be doomed. Ji Yui Yun was in Puto's most cherished disciple. If he caused Ji Yui Yun's death, then his corpse devil sect couldn't possibly endure in Puto's wrath. Long Chen rested his black saber on his shoulder his back facing the corpse devil sex sect master. From the start, he had never even looked at him. It seemed that everything was within his calculations. That calm of having everything under his control made countless experts worship him. Despite being similar in age to many of them, on his own, he was able to suppress two peak experts. It didn't matter what kind of person he was, that kind of power would be enough to make countless people worship him. However, through this battle, Long Chen also won over the hearts of countless youngsters. They all viewed him as an idol and a goal. Release them, otherwise. Long Chen directly interrupted the devil corpse sect sect master. Shut your mouth. In my eyes, you are nothing more than a large pile of dog shit. I've heard plenty of threats, and I'm tired of it. Just remember this. Boss Long San doesn't listen to anyone's threats. Your threats will only infuriate me, and the consequences of infuriating me are very severe so severe that you can't even imagine it. You, the sect master's fury sword. He wanted to save Ku Wuaya, but he didn't want to say any boot-licking words, as that would only cause his sex face to be lost. However, Long Chen wouldn't accept soft or tough words, resulting in him just standing there awkwardly, not daring to make a move or leave. Don't be impatient. Both of them have committed so many atrocities that the karmic flames will take some time to incinerate them all. Right now, all you need to do is wait. Wait until a certain person shows up. If he appears, perhaps there will be a chance for Ku Wuaya to survive, said Long Chen, looking at Ji Yui Yun coldly. Wait, everyone was startled. Seeing Ji Yui Yun screaming and struggling inside the flame lotus, they felt a chill. They felt like they knew who Long Chen was waiting for. The entire crowd was silent. 
The only sounds were Ji Yu Ayun and Ku Wu Aya screams, along with the sound of the raging flames. Long Chen simply stood there. His divine flame energy had vanished and his 108,000 star flames needed to be adjusted. Using split the heavens had used up quite a bit of their energy, they were down to less than 30%. Although his wounds looked as if they had healed, in reality, his body was riddled with holes. His physical body was truly too weak to endure this power even with the life energy of the Wood Foundation Divine Trees. Furthermore, the backlash of the Heavenly Deos from using Split the Heavens had left the mark of the Heavenly Deos on his wounds, making recovery slower. It felt like millions of needles were moving through his body. Anyone else would have been unable to endure that power, let alone fight while enduring it. But Long Chen's will was truly shocking. Even that fight hadn't caused his expression to twitch. Suddenly, Ji Yun's manifestation appeared once more, and a divine might sword, a fat figure manifested, one that caused every expert soul to shudder. They had an urge to prostrate toward him, and they didn't even dare to look at that figure. In Puta, you've finally appeared. I've been waiting a long time, said Long Chen lightly. Chapter 3154 Imputa shows himself. Everyone stared in shock at that huge figure within Ji Yui Yun's manifestation. They could sense the terrifying might of a world king. A world king was the realm above an immortal king, a heavenly deity who stood above all others and forced them to prostrate themselves in worship. A world king could destroy a world with a single hand. They were of a height that other cultivators couldn't imagine. Although it was an imputa's true self and was merely a wisp of his soul, the pressure of a world king still made it so others couldn't move. It was as if a single thought could strip them of their lives. As for Long Chen, he didn't seem the slightest bit affected by this pressure. He looked coldly upon imputa's figure. Considering that Ji Yui Yun was imputa's precious disciple, imputa would definitely leave a spiritual mark on him that would activate when his life was in danger. After all, when Imputa manifested himself, not many people within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands dared to be enemies with him. It seemed that his arrival was completely within Long Chen's expectations. Furthermore, it seemed that he had been precisely waiting for this moment. That shocked people. He wished to challenge a world king. It had to be known that even just the wisp of a world king wasn't something that they dared to blaspheme. Imputa's figure was rather vague and illusory, so it wasn't possible to see his facial features, but they could somewhat tell that he was looking at Long Chen. I didn't expect there to be someone capable of defeating Yuner, so, are you thinking of killing my disciple? Curiously, Imputa's voice was very pleasant but a bit sinister, although his voice was gentle, it possessed a will that could not be defied. Fatty, you don't recognize me? Look closely, or maybe think back. Long Chen gazed at Imputa. He had been waiting for him to appear precisely to confirm a certain thing. Fatty? Everyone's expression changed. Long Chen dared to call a world king Fatty? Just what were his guts made of? Imputa was startled but didn't get angry. He looked at Long Chen more closely and shook his head. What? Do you have enmity with me? If so, my apologies, but I don't bother remembering the enmities of such insignificant people. Ha ha ha, Long Chen laughed. So Imputa didn't recognize him. In other words, when Long Chen had broken Imputa's divine statue in the Martial Heaven Continent, it hadn't been him who had come at the end. That made sense. Just in the immortal world, Imputa had to have countless divine statues. There was no way he could manage all of them. He naturally didn't have time to bother with some minor faith energy in a mortal world. Imputa's response verified his guess. Imputa must have left his faith energy to his subordinates to manage. When Long Chen had been about to destroy the Blood Gale Hall in the continent, he had received a message from what he thought was Imputa, asking him to not destroy his legacy. Only when he ascended into the immortal world did Long Chen realize just how terrifying a force Imputa was, for him to beg to spare his legacy in such a small place, unlikely. Now Long Chen was sure that it was nothing more than an end under his command. It was unknown just how many layers of higher-ups there were above that person. Such a minor matter couldn't possibly reach Imputa's ears. Since that was the case, he was at ease. In the final battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, the continent's Blood Gill Hall, Corrupt Path, Pill Valley, and the others were all wiped out. Their inheritances were gone. 
Now, the survivors only worshipped the five sovereigns, as well as those who had sacrificed their lives in battle like Chu Jinying, the old man, Ling Yunzi, and the others, of course, there was also Long Chen. This way, Long Chen knew that Imputa didn't know who he was, although he was aware that his identity would be exposed sooner or later, later would be best. It seems that you've pissed off too many people to even remember them, that's fine, good and evil will face their karma in the end, your sins will be repaid appropriately, Long Chen laughed, his words were ambiguous, leaving people lost, was Long Chen not some ascender from the lower plane, how could he have enmity with Imputa? Good and evil will face karma, do you believe in that superstition? I overestimated you, tell me, from which foolish power are you? Imputa shook his head indifferently. Master, save me. Ji Yuan suddenly screamed, even though his master had arrived, he wasn't doing anything to save him, he was just chatting with Long Chen. These karmic flames were so painful that Ji Yuan felt like he was crumbling. All people must pay the price for their mistakes. You weren't able to accurately measure your opponent, you couldn't suppress your pride when winning, and you couldn't retreat when losing, you've really disappointed your master, these karmic flames are the best punishment for you, that way, you'll remember this lesson, you are master's favorite disciple, if it was another disciple who lost like this, I would personally end them, but for you, I will permit one failure, if such a thing happens again though, I will save you just so I can personally kill you said Imputa, his voice finally turning slightly cold. An assassin was permitted to fail, but they were definitely not permitted to be trapped like this, that was the greatest humiliation for an assassin. If an assassin failed, then they were to immediately flee from their opponent's range, they were to strike like lightning and slip away like a shadow. As for being trapped, was that really an assassin? He had lost face for the entire assassination world. Buddy, Ji Yuan cried out hastily, Long Chen had a terrifying perception, so his assassination arts were useless against him, he could only face him directly. Imputa snorted, no need to explain, after failing, you should have fled, with the ghost blade your master bestowed you, you were entirely capable of breaking the barrier and leaving, he didn't defeat you in one move, so you had many chances to flee, but you refused to, instead lured by the bait. If an assassin relies on wishful thinking, they are no longer an assassin. You already knew the danger and knew how low your odds were, but you still took the risk. That's not in line with the assassin's code. You must pay the price. Don't worry, you won't die, but I'll only save half your life, so you can absorb this lesson and not embarrass me in the future. Upon hearing this, everyone's heart shook, as expected of the world king, even though he hadn't personally watched the battle. His guess was accurate, Ji Yuan truly had suffered repeatedly at Long Chen's hands, as an assassin, he should have stopped taking the risk, however, this lesson was truly severe, the karmic flames were incomparably painful, Imputa was very strict with his disciples. Hearing their words, Long Chen smiled, as if he had just heard a huge joke, I say, fatty, do you really think you're all that powerful, did I say that you could save him? The crowd felt a chill hearing Long Chen's words, this fellow was truly a monster. However, Imputa didn't get angry, he was a bit surprised, what, do you feel like you can kill him? Haha, <laughs> when I want to kill someone, no one can stop me, laughed Long Chen. Oh, is that so, then I'm very interested, I'm not killing you because you're my disciple's target in the future, he will personally bring your head to me later, if he can't, I will kill him. But I'm very curious, just what kind of trump guards do you have to say such big words? Asked Imputa. Something like this. Long Chen took out a single feather, and an auspicious rainbow light appeared. The dark clouds shrouding this world instantly became clear. The rainbow crane race's original true feather, Imputa's tone instantly changed. Chapter 3155 Absolute Confidence When Long Chen took out the rainbow feather, countless people were shocked. They had never seen any rainbow cranes, let alone their original true feather. They had no struggles with the rest of the world. If someone saw them, they would be blessed through several generations. Legend had it that just seeing them would make a person be infected by the world's karmic luck, allowing their cultivation to go even more smoothly. 
However, it was said that they only lived in very special places. The High Firmament Academy was one of them. Other than the High Firmament Academy, the places that the Rainbow Cranes lived in were famous holy lands. No one dared to provoke them. The High Firmament Academy might have declined, but the Rainbow Cranes continued to live there. That meant that it was still an auspicious land. No matter how it declined, as long as the Rainbow Cranes continued to live there, it meant that the Academy could rise once more. However, just how many generations of the High Firmament Academy's disciples never even got to glimpse the Rainbow Cranes? Those weren't existences that they could see just because they wanted to. These experts had never seen a rainbow crane before, but hearing in Puta's words, they were shocked. Just who was Long Chen to possess an original true feather from the rainbow crane race? In Puta suddenly extended a hand toward Ji Yui Yun, but Long Chen seemed to expect that, and he already waved the feather in front of him. Rainbow light fell, separating Ji Yui Yun from In Puta. After that, In Puta's hand struck the wall of light and sizzled. His hand vanished. The Rainbow Crane race's heavenly blessing will not allow evil energy to pass through it. You are nothing more than some divine will, correct? You can only unleash spiritual and mental attacks in this state. Since you can't use physical attacks, this original true feather perfectly counters you. I told you that no one could save who I want to kill, said Long Chen. Rainbow light surrounded him. It was as if the 10,000 Deos were circling around him. Long Chen didn't know much about the Rainbow Crane race but he had started researching and studying the original true feather once he had obtained it. It could be said that he had figured out some of its uses. However, although he had studied it, he didn't dare to actually use its energy. That would be a waste of its precious energy. After all, after leaving the body of the rainbow crane, every bit of its energy that was used was lost forever. Once it was all used up, it would crumble. Today, using its energy not only blocked in Puta, but its light also rejected the marks left behind by the backlash of the heavenly deos. Like the sun melting the snow, the marks quickly dissolved. Long Chen was delighted by that. The rainbow crane race was truly the favorite of the heavens. All things connected to the heavenly deos were unable to harm them. Using split the heavens had infuriated the heavenly deos, resulting in their will descending on his body. It was troublesome to heal such a thing, but now it was instantly healed. Not only that, but he felt his essence, chi, and spirit rapidly recovering. With its blessing, he rapidly went from less than 30% of his remaining energy to 40%. That took only a few breaths. It was his first time feeling so blessed by the heavens. Long Chen, if you dare to kill Ji Yui Yun, I swear I will make you regret it for a lifetime. Blocked by this wall, Imputa was finally unable to remain calm. His voice grew sinister. I should warn you about two things. I would only regret it if I didn't kill Ji Yui Yun. I do have things that I've regretted in this lifetime, but it's never been because of not killing people. Second, it seems that you didn't hear something I said before. Listen closely. Boss Long San doesn't listen to any threats. You are nothing more than Lord Brahma's dog. Do you think that I'm afraid of you? Sneered Long Chen. Whether it was the disciples or the elders, they were shaken. He was directly cursing a world king. In this world, perhaps only Long Chen had the guts to do such a thing. Long Chen, do you think you can do as you please just because you have the support of the High Firmament Academy? You're wrong. If you kill Ji Yui Yun, I guarantee that the High Firmament Academy will not be able to protect you. Don't ruin your future. Imputa's voice grew frosty. Everyone nodded, as expected of Imputa, the true ancestor of assassins. Even now, his anger was controlled. This was the terrifying restraint of an assassin. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect to learn such a thing. It seems that you're very afraid of the High Firmament Academy. Then this will be easy, Long Chen laughed. Through Imputa's words, he had grasped an important point. Despite his anger, Imputa only said that the High Firmament Academy wouldn't be able to protect him. He didn't say that he would destroy the High Firmament Academy. Clearly, Imputa knew that the Academy still had some power. It was due to this that he didn't dare to say such big words. Furthermore, Long Chen had long since started feeling that the Academy's power was not as simple as what appeared on the surface. It had a profoundly deep foundation. It simply hadn't shown it off in a long time. The Academy was so low-key that it would rather be looked down upon by others than bother explaining. Imputa's words only gave him greater confidence. 
that dragon race expert had truly sent him to the right place. This way, he could act even more recklessly. Master, save me, I can't last any longer, Ji Yui Yun cried out. His soul was constantly being burned. Once it was fully incinerated, even in Puda wouldn't be able to save him. Although he was enduring unimaginable pain due to the karmic flames, his mind hadn't scattered yet. His mind was still clear and experiencing all the pain clearly. Seeing the barrier separating Imputa from him, he wailed. Seeing his current wretched state, countless experts shook their heads. This was a peerless heavenly genius, in the face of death, he was still a coward. Perhaps just like what Long Chen had said before, only when a blade struck their bodies would they know pain, only when it was their own life being reaped would they know how precious life was. Ji Yui Yun had killed countless people. He had used the cruelest method to extract the souls and essence blood of the butterfly spirit and butterfly dance races people. Had he ever cared about the laws of their lives? Hence, no one sympathized with him. This was his retribution. Long Chen, don't force me, In Puta was finally enraged. His voice changed, dripping with sharp killing intent. In an instant, it was as if the world had been dropped into an ice house. It was so cold that people felt like their souls would freeze. Chapter 3156 Wiping Out Gui Yun Force you, ha ha ha. Long Chen raised his head and laughed, sneering, Are you joking? The founder of the Blood Gill Hall, an indomitable world king, is saying that a little divine flame rookie is forcing you to do something? Even I am embarrassed for you. Am I so terrifying? It was clearly Gui Yun who forced me. I didn't force you, nor did I threaten you. I'm simply telling everyone a fact. Once Boss Long San decides on something, no one can change it. If Boss Long San wants to kill someone, no one can save that person. This wisp of your soul that you sent here came only to be humiliated. You can't do anything. You can only watch as your disciple is burned alive. The cycle of the heavenly deos always gives appropriate retribution. Your blood kill hall there to sadistically slaughter the kind-hearted butterfly spirit and butterfly dance races. Dai Wu knew that she was going to die but still chose to come out to fight. In death, she entrusted me with her dream. A man's word is worth a thousand gold. I naturally must make sure she can rest in peace in the Yellow Springs. The experts present stared at Long Chen, and countless young disciples felt their blood heating up. Despite having no grievance with Ji Yui Yun himself, just due to being entrusted with this burden from Dai Wu, Long Chen was willing to offend Imputa. Only such a figure could be called a true hero, someone who made all other so-called heavenly geniuses lose their splendor. Long Chen's light didn't just come from his martial might, it also came from the way that he could not be threatened or suppressed. Even if he knew he would die, he still had the courage to raise his blade against powerful experts. For countless people, this was their first time seeing such daring, their first time understanding what true domineeringness was. Long Chen, do you wish to start a war between the High Firmament Academy and the Blood Guild Hall? Do you know how many of the disciples of the High Firmament Academy will die because of you? How many people will pay with their lives for your foolishness? demanded Imputa. If it weren't for Imputa's status, countless curses would have rained down on him from the crowd. He, a grand and mighty world king, was actually using the High Firmament Academy's disciples to threaten Long Chen. Perhaps Imputa wouldn't dare to directly attack the High Firmament Academy, but he could send a large number of assassins after their disciples. Then all those lives would be Long Chen's debt. They were unable to imagine just how a world king could be so shameless. Life and death are up to fate. The heavens give everyone their own opportunities and their own paths, and the path of cultivation is a bloody one of no return. If you want to kill the High Firmament Academy's disciples, then kill them. If they are killed, it can only be said that they aren't strong enough, neither the Academy nor myself can protect them. Although I can't protect them, I will help them get their vengeance. For every person from the High Firmament Academy that you kill, I will slaughter a hundred people from your Blood Gill Hall. If you slaughter a hundred people from the High Firmament Academy, I will wipe out one of your branch halls. I, Long Chen, came from the lower plane to the immortal world through a path paved with the bones of my enemies. I pushed through a river of blood pouring toward me. I have never said a single empty word. If you don't believe me, you can be so bold as to try me. 
Long Chen slowly pointed his saber at Imputa, unleashing a sharp killing intent that shook the stars of the nine heavens. His killing intent then clashed with the will of a world king, and was not the slightest bit inferior. That scene was something that countless people would never be able to forget in their lifetime. Are you threatening me? Even as the world's top assassin, Imputa's restraint had hit its limit. Have you grown foolish with age? I already said that I never threaten anyone. I'm simply telling you what will happen. Of course, whether or not it does happen is related to your actions, sneered Long Chen. Master, I, I can't hold on. Just at this moment, Ji Yui Yun cried out. People were shocked to find that the flames burning him had shrunk down. His aura was also weakening. Ji Yui Yun was finally reaching his end under the burning of the karmic flames. Once the flames extinguished, his life would also be over. He would forever vanish from this world, not even entering the cycle of reincarnation. On the other hand, Ku Wuaya was still bitterly entering. These karmic flames were incinerating all the evils that they had done. The more wicked deeds that someone had done, the longer they would burn. Everyone was a mix of good and evil. If a person did terrible things, they might still be able to keep a clear conscience on the surface, but their inner heart would feel uneasy. But as they did more bad things, they gradually grew numb to it. They no longer felt uneasy and would no longer feel as if it was wrong. However, it would leave a mark deep within their heart. In this case, the karmic flames were an impartial judge. Others wouldn't be able to judge whether a person was good or bad, and they could be tricked. But it was impossible to trick oneself. All the wicked deeds Ku Wuaya had done and buried deep within him surfaced with the burning of the karmic flames. Unexpectedly, Ku Wuaya had done even more evil than Ji Yui Yun. Long Chen, Imputer roared furiously. Ji Yui Yun was the disciple he favored the most and the one he wished to pass his entire legacy to. The only reason Imputer hadn't given him a protective divine item was because he didn't want his disciple to form any kind of dependency on it, ruining his cultivation. He was extremely strict with Ji Yui Yun just so that the latter could make something of himself. Other than this wisp of his soul, Imputa hadn't bestowed him with any terrifying treasure items. He had originally thought that this wisp of his soul would be enough, but he hadn't expected Long Chen to possess an original true feather from the Rainbow Crane race. It completely blocked his energy. Even as a world king, he was flummoxed. Master. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. Although they had been expecting it, they were still shaken the moment they saw him be killed. To kill Ji Yui Yun in front of his master, just how would Long Chen enter in Puta's wrath? Long Chen's expression was calm. One hand held his black saber, while the other hand held the original tree. Following the death of Ji Yui Yun, in Puta's figure began to shrink. Without anything to fix him here due to his connection with Ji Yui Yun being severed, he was vanishing. In Puta furiously howled, all subordinates of Divine Venerate Brahma, attack now. Wipe out Long Chen and everyone from the High Firmament Academy. Chapter 3157 A Chaotic Battle Commences In Puta's figure vanished, but his order continued to ring through the air. After that, chaos erupted. Countless sects instantly eyed the High Firmament Academy's disciples. Those disciples' hair stood on end. They were surrounded by countless powerful foes. Bai Shishi's mother grouped together with the High Firmament Academy's disciples and elders, she sneered, but before she could speak, Long Chen's voice rang out. Who wants to try it? I promise that whoever attacks will have their sex wiped out by me. Unless you can kill me, once I grow, there will be no place for you within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. Long Chen pointed his saber toward those experts. Add just at this moment, loud screams rang out. Ku Wuaya was finally unable to hold on any longer. Following Ji Yui Yun's footsteps, he was incinerated. Die! Ku Wuaya's death caused the corpse devil sect sect master to roar and slam Long Chen's flame barrier with his palm. The power of the Divine Lord erupted. Boom! The void exploded as he destroyed the barrier. However, his palm was dodged by Long Chen. Even the Divine Lord was unable to lock him down. That was due to the divine blessing of the Rainbow Crane race covering his body. No mental or spiritual energy could harm him. Just as Long Chen was being hunted down by the corpse devil sect sect master, Bai Shishi's mother quickly moved to stop him when she heard Long Chen's voice. 
Let them come. I have my own way to deal with them. Bai Shishi's mother was startled. It had to be known that following the corpse devil sect sect master, over ten other divine lords were also charging at Long Chen. What was he doing? However, she had confidence in Long Chen. Hence, she ordered a high firmament academy's disciples to form up and prepare for battle instead. The audience was in chaos. No one had expected this nine prefecture convention to devolve into such a thing. The Huaian Trading Company's experts were shouting angrily for people to stop, but no one listened to them. All the experts that were attacking were connected to Lord Brahma. They all wanted to kill Long Chen, but they hadn't had an excuse to do so. Luckily, Imputa's order gave them the perfect excuse. There was no need to worry about others saying that they were bullying the weak. They were only listening to orders. Over ten divine lords charged at Long Chen, and even more of them were on their way. Their target was Long Chen's head. Considering Imputa's hatred for Long Chen, whoever could cut off Long Chen's head would get into Imputa's good grace. That was a huge favor. Furthermore, Long Chen was the High Firmament Academy's most outstanding disciple. The Academy had rejected Lord Brahma's attempts at pulling them in many times, infuriating Lord Brahma. Killing Long Chen would not only help out Imputa, but it would also be considered helping Lord Brahma. Fifty to sixty divine lords were charging at Long Chen. Their divine might threw the world into chaos. The spectator stands had long since been broken, and now they fully vanished within the chaos. Everyone was running around chaotically, and screams rang out. With the original true feather and his saber in his hands, lightning wings flapped on his back, causing him to weave through his attackers, dodging their attacks. A bunch of trash who don't know respect, sneered Long Chen as he dodged. You still dare to be arrogant with death at hand. Those divine lords were enraged, but there were so many of them in a crowded space that they couldn't even unleash their full power. Being unable to lock Long Chen down, they clenched their teeth furiously. Long Chen was flashing left and right as if dancing on the tip of a death god scythe. The way he narrowly dodged those lethal attacks made other people's hearts quiver. However, no matter what those experts did, they were unable to touch Long Chen. The corpse devil sect sect master roared, Scram, Long Chen is mine. Perhaps if there was just one person, he could catch Long Chen. But with so many people, they were all interfering and restricting each other's movements. He killed young master Wuji. He owes a huge debt to the flower butterfly school. Why should you get to kill him? Retorted the flower butterfly patriarch. Don't stop me, you pig, Navaloon.com. Fuck off, are you blind? You're the one in my way. Are you on the same side as Long Chen? Are you intentionally messing up our formation? What are you up to? Keep acting like this and don't blame me for not being courteous. I've long since wanted to stop being courteous. Long Chen's head will be taken by who has the ability, so what are you shouting for? Long Chen was like a slippery fish, and they were unable to catch him. Hence, they were all infuriated by this failure. Furthermore, as more experts joined in the effort to capture this big fish, quite a few divine lords charged toward Bai Shishi and the others. If it weren't for Long Chen, Bai Shishi would be the High Firmament Academy's number one expert. Killing her would also be good for them. At this moment, one divine lord reached Bai Shishi, and he unleashed a powerful palm with scorching light. He wanted to suppress Bai Shishi in one move. Looking at this, Bai Shishi snorted and slowly reached for the sword on her back. At the same time, a golden lotus mark appeared deep in her eyes. Her sword then came flying out of its sheath. Golden light flashed, and the divine lord's expression completely changed. His heaven-encompassing palm was gone. After the streak of golden light passed, the divine lord's body suddenly stiffened. He was cut in two. After that, his corpse instantly turned to gold and fell into the sea. A divine lord was slain with one slash of the sword. That made everyone jump in shock. As for Bai Shishi herself, she was also surprised. She had only intended to stop him with this move. She wasn't so arrogant to think that she could slay a divine lord with one swing of her sword. She turned to see Bai's eye forming hand seals, his three flower pupils active in his eyes. He had a pleased expression. Clearly, he had used the three flower pupils to influence their exchange. The Divine Lord had actually completely neglected Bai Ziaol's existence. The three flower pupils interrupted his technique, and he was cut in two just like that by Bai Shishi's sword. This isn't a martial competition anymore. 
This is a real battle, and the goal is always to kill your opponents. There are no rules. Everyone, fight together. Xiaol, remember to assist us. Fairy Shishi, young master Chan Chuan, let's fight together. Chen Feng was already charging out toward the next Divine Lord. That Divine Lord didn't even bother to care upon seeing an ordinary disciple attacking him. His true focus was concentrated on Bai Shishi, young master Chan Chuan, and Bai Xiaol. Hence, he simply unleashed a simple palm. Boom! The Divine Lord's palm slammed into Chen Feng's arm. This blow, which he had thought would blast Chen Feng apart, only ended up blasting apart Chen Feng's sleeve, revealing a treasure item arm bracer. At the same time, Chen Feng's saber landed on his neck. This was a treasure item saber that Bai Shishi's mother had given him, and it was incomparably sharp. As a result, a Divine Lord's head soared into the sky. Chapter 3158 Slaying Divine Lords What? Countless people were shocked. Chin Feng had actually severed the neck of a Divine Lord. It had to be known that he was nothing more than a minor character in people's eyes. After all, he had no status, and he wasn't even a primal. He had put on a good show during the convention, but he wasn't classified as one of the top experts. Thus, seeing Chin Feng taking the lead, the Divine Lord actually thought that he was risking his life to create an opportunity for Bai Shishi and the others. He hadn't expected him to have such power. With that Divine Lord's head separated from his body, Chen Feng unleashed the second slash of his saber and blew the head apart. Everything was done in one fluid movement that didn't give the Divine Lord any chance to reconnect his head. Chen Feng's shoulder was dislocated from the impact so he forced it back into its correct location. Even though the treasure item arm bracers had blocked most of the power, it had to be said that a divine lord was truly powerful. Fortunately, Chen Feng's body was so powerful after following Long Chen for so long, someone else would have had their upper body explode even if they had those arm bracers. With this surprise, he killed a divine lord, but at this moment, another divine lord was charging at him. Dragon Blood Battle Armor Chin Feng roared, and scales covered his entire body. When a dragon roar resounded from his manifestation, his blood chi erupted like a volcano. He then slashed his saber at that divine lord, all while emanating incomparably sharp killing intent that felt incredibly familiar. It was as if they were seeing Long Chen's shadow within Chin Feng. It wasn't just a similar aura. Even his movements, his gaze, his fearlessness, his domineeringness, they were all so similar. This is, bloodline pressure. He is a primal. When Chen Feng summoned the dragon blood battle armor and his blood chi erupted, everyone was shocked. Chen Feng's saber fell. With a powerful chi wave eruption, Chen Feng was knocked back, while the divine lord's figure also shook. He blocked a real attack from a divine lord? Is this Chen Feng a monster? Seeing Chen Feng only being knocked back and coughing up blood, everyone was shocked. That was a divine lord. Just then, the void exploded and golden chains pierced through the air. That divine lord was startled, but just as he tried to move, he felt the world spinning around him. He immediately had a bad feeling. He had been on guard against Bai Ziaol's three flower pupils, but hadn't expected to still fall for it. Those chains instantly bound him. Just as his head was muddled, a golden sword pierced through his head, turning his body into a golden statue. His soul wasn't even able to escape and he fell into the sea just like that. Another divine lord was slain. The spectators that had fled into the distance stared in shock. How did the Nine Prefecture Convention devolve into a bloody battle? Kill Bai Ziaol. Someone realized that something was amiss. Bai Ziaol's three flower pupils were like a completely different existence compared to before. When he had used the three flower pupils during the competition, its power was definitely not so powerful. This kind of simple spatial power shouldn't be able to affect divine lords like this. However, after two people were conned to death by him, they realized that something was wrong. This fellow was truly sinister. He actually hadn't used his full power at the Marshall Dao Convention. In truth, they had overestimated Bai Ziaol. He truly had used his full abilities during the competition. But after his battle with Liao Yu Huang, perhaps it was due to the influence of the zither music. His three flower pupils were not just unleashing spatial energy, they even contained a trace of mental energy. 
Divine lords who didn't possess strong enough wills and weren't prepared for such a thing could be influenced by him. Normally, this kind of influence might be nothing, but in battle, it was the disturbance that caused them to lose their lives. Suddenly, the world trembled and a sword slashed through the air, tearing apart the void and unleashing divine light. A divine lord had activated a treasure item. In the hands of a divine lord, a treasure item could unleash unimaginable power. Boom! A spear stopped that sword in its tracks. Young Master Chan Chuan appeared, holding a bone spear. There was a giant rhinoceros in his manifestation staring up at the heavens with a full moon hanging in the sky. That was the specific mark of the full moon race. At this moment, silver light shrouded young Master Chan Chuan from his manifestation. It was vaguely possible to hear some ancient call from it. That divine lord was shocked and enraged. As he pressed down with his sword, he angrily shouted, Is your life forbidden area planning on interfering in this matter? Young Master Chang Chuan's arms creaked as he resisted his sword, looking like they would break at any moment. He clenched his teeth and spat out, I represent myself. Stop bringing up the life forbidden area. Just at this moment, three balls of light appeared behind that expert. It was by Ziaol's three flower pupils. Die, the expert roared, and the three balls of light shattered. At the next moment, Bai Ziaol screamed and held his eyes painfully. His eyes were bleeding. Ziaol, Luo Xue and the others cried out. This expert possessed strong enough mental energy to shatter Bai Ziaol's move as soon as it condensed. So what if you have the three flower pupils? You can't use them properly. Today, you'll all die here. It would be better for this old man to pluck those eyes out. The expert smiled sinisterly. Suddenly, he shoved with his sword, sending young Master Chang Chuan stumbling back. Just as Bai Ziaol was injured, five other divine lords charged over. With Bai Ziaol injured, there was nothing for them to fear. However, just as the expert moved, a golden sword slashed through the air with overwhelming power toward him. That expert's heart shuddered, and he hastily raised his sword to block, only to be sent flying. Flying Cloud Caves Master, Zhao Fian, you can count as an old fellow who has lived for countless years. Your cultivation base has already reached the late Divine Lord realm, yet you have the face to bully a group of babies. Was your entire cultivation base spent on cultivating this thick face of yours? Demanded by Shishi's mother, standing in his path. As soon as she said this, everyone was shocked. Many people had heard of the master of the Flying Cloud Cave, Zhao Fi Ian, but simply didn't recognize him. He was quite famous, and no one had expected him to personally come. It had to be known that most of the Divine Lords leading the groups here were only at the early Divine Lord realm. They might look old to the youngsters, but they were actually quite young compared to those old monsters. They were leading the groups to gain experience as well. However, for the Flying Cloud Caves Master to personally come and attack members of the junior generation, it was truly disdainful. Zhao Fian was about to retort when a huge explosion shook the entire battlefield. That was where Long Chen was fighting. Everyone's attention was drawn over. What? How has the martial stage reappeared? Shocked cries of disbelief rang out. Chapter 3159 Slaughter at Will The void rumbled, the martial stage, which everyone had thought to have been destroyed, reappeared. The next moment, Long Chen and over 60 divine lords appeared on it. When they appeared on the martial stage, they were all terrified, some of them were even shuddering in fear, but the ones outside didn't know what they were so afraid of. All those experts that were trying to kill Long Chen came to a stop, they stood there, struck them like wooden chickens. The closest divine lord to Long Chen was turned into blood mist with a single slash of the saber. After that, Long Chen's figure came out of that mist. Everyone was shocked. It seemed as if the divine lords had suddenly weakened. They weren't even able to receive a single attack from Long Chen now. What was happening? How? How can this be? cried out one of those divine lords. Are you asking how the martial stage reappeared, or how your cultivation bases have been suppressed to the divine flame realm? asked Long Chen indifferently. What? Hearing that, people didn't dare to believe their ears. These divine lords had their cultivation bases suppressed, everyone carefully sensed their auras. It really did seem as if the pressure of divine lords had vanished. 
their cultivation bases had been suppressed to the divine flame realm, no wonder they were so terrified, who in the divine flame realm could match Long Chen? Do you still remember the eye that appeared in front of the barrier when Ku Wu Aya fought by Shishi and I appeared in front of it? That eye is the martial stages item spirit. It is a battle spirit from ancient times but was forcibly sealed inside the martial stage. It made an agreement with me. I would destroy the martial stage, destroying the immortal runes binding it, returning its freedom. In exchange, it would help me once. I was originally planning on using it against stronger enemies and didn't want to waste it on foolish trash like you, which is why I warned you. Unfortunately, you're so foolish that there's really no saving you. You actually thought that I was just trying to scare you. People like you are forever idiots. Since that's the case, don't blame Bot Long San for being merciless. Long Chen suddenly began a slaughter. Those divine lords roared and resisted with their full power but were still blasted apart one by one. An ordinary slash of his saber killed over ten of those divine lords. With their cultivation bases suppressed, they appeared incredibly weak in front of Long Chen. Long Chen, don't kill us. We're willing to fight for you. We're willing to. Regretfully, Long Chen didn't give them any chance. None of them could stop his saber. These once high and mighty divine lords wailed like ghosts as they were killed. Some even got on their knees and begged Long Chen to spare them, but the only response was a merciless saber. Like a tiger amongst sheep, Long Chen reaped all the other lives on the martial stage. This was no longer a battle, it was a slaughter. So many people had joined in to hunt down Long Chen, but their reprisal came quickly. In the blink of an eye, it was now Long Chen hunting them down. This sudden change left people dumbfounded, watching as those divine lords wailed without the slightest dignity of an expert, they couldn't help feeling deeply moved. These were experts, they were still incredibly weak in the face of death. Just like what Long Chen had said, only when his saber hacked their bodies did they know pain, only when their lives were stripped from them would they realize how precious life was. These experts that usually held people's lives in their hands appeared even worse than those weaklings when the tables were turned on them. Ah? Uh? No. Please don't kill me. No matter how they begged, Long Chen continued to kill them one by one. The martial stage was only so big, so there was nowhere for them to run. In the end, the blood of divine lords covered the martial stage. It was a stunning sight. With every divine lord that he killed, Long Chen obtained a treasure item. Those were his war spoils. When the last divine lord was slain, the martial stage shuddered and a translucent figure appeared in front of Long Chen. That figure was actually another Long Chen. Our agreement is now complete. No one owes anyone anything, said the manifestation of the martial stage. Of course, no one owes anyone anymore. However, I really must thank you. Killing those divine lords was truly refreshing. My mood is excellent. It feels like I'm once more seeing sunlight, Long Chen laughed delightedly, after that slaughter, he felt the dark energy regress, it was no longer invading his mind, and it felt like he was finally free from a prison, that beautiful feeling was truly indescribable. Long Chen felt that this ancient martial stages item spirit was a very terrifying existence, using it to kill divine lords was truly wasteful, but he had no choice but to admit that killing them was very satisfying. It was worth it to him. The manifestation of the martial stage nodded. After that, its figure slowly merged into the void, vanishing from sight. Long Chen turned back, his saber once more on his shoulder. Gazing at his enemies, he sneered, The ancient martial stage has left. I've lost one trump card. If you feel like now is your best chance, then come. Let's see if I have any more trump cards. With the help of the martial stage, Long Chen had killed those divine lords like killing chickens. He shook everyone. Those were divine lords, the cornerstones of any sex they were killed just like this, who wouldn't be afraid? Long Chen's trump cards kept coming out endlessly, ignoring the power he took out while fighting Ji Yun and Ku Wuya. Just how terrifying was that original true feather that had completely blocked off the power of a world king like Imputa? Just how terrifying was it that he could kill Imputa's most cherished disciple right in front of him? Then he even used the martial stages item spirit after breaking it free of its restrictions, slaying a pile of divine lords. These methods were truly stunning. Now he was covered in blood, and his robes were ruined. His appearance could be said to be a bit wretched, but it appeared incredibly wild and domineering. 
Most of that blood on his body belonged to divine lords. It slowly dripped down on him in an astonishing sight. In the face of Long Chen's icily arrogant gaze, those divine lords didn't dare to even move. They were afraid of a single divine flame disciple. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and dragon scales covered his body. His divine flames instantly ignited. As his wild or erupted, he slashed his saber behind him. That space exploded, revealing a figure with a dagger in hand. A divine lord assassin from the Blood Gill Hall. Chapter 3160 Silver Moon City's Lord The Divine Lord Assassin of the Blood Gel Hall had tried to sneak attack Long Chen, only to be instantly seen through by him. He forced the assassin out of concealment. As a result, the assassin coughed up a mouthful of blood, and his mask was destroyed, revealing an elderly face. Even the Divine Lord was unable to resist Long Chen's power, especially when the former hadn't been accumulating power beforehand. The assassin was shocked. Long Chen's blow had not just destroyed his internal organs, but it had also shaken his divine energy, throwing it into chaos. It could essentially be said that he had temporarily lost his cultivation base. Long Chen unleashed a palm at that assassin, only for the void behind him to twist. After that, seven new figures appeared. There were seven more assassins from the Blood Gill Hall, and seven streaks of divine light shot toward him. Long Chen snorted and swung his saber behind him. He then continued to strike the first assassin with his left hand. Boom. The first assassin was blasted apart by his palm. As for the seven attacks coming behind him, they struck his saber, resulting in him stumbling forward. The seven of them also stumbled back. One of them crushed a formation disc, and the void rumbled. The next moment, a transportation formation appeared along with countless black-robed masked figures. Thousands of Blood Gel Hall experts poured out, charging at Long Chen. Amongst them were four peak experts, as well as divine flame experts. HMPH, is the Blood Gel Hall preparing to have the whole nest come out? Good, then let's fight until we're happy. Long Chen sneered. His saber danced through the air. Wherever his saber went, death followed. However, these assassins were fearless, and even as they were continuously cut down, they continued to charge out. After killing and killing, Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. This was wrong. These people were intentionally sending themselves to their deaths. After they died, their essence blood and soul energy condensed in the air. He had a bad feeling. Although he didn't know what they were up to, it definitely wasn't something good. Just as he got a bad feeling and was preparing to switch fighting styles, countless mirrors appeared in the void. Blood chi instantly condensed on top of them, and they shot out rays of divine light that linked into a giant web trapping Long Chen. Feeling startled, Long Chen swung his saber at one of those lights. With a huge explosion, the earth shook, but the light was like a sturdy chain. He couldn't break it. Long Chen repeatedly slashed his saber, causing space to continuously shake. However, the divine light stopped his saber. He was trapped. It's useless. Our Blood Gel Hall's special blood soul barrier uses our blood and souls to link to the Great God's divine statue. This light contains the Killing God's divinity, and no one can break it. Sinner who dared to blaspheme the Killing God, just wait. The Killing God's clone will soon descend. Your judgment is coming. One of those assassins looked at Long Chen coldly. Now that Long Chen was trapped, they all stopped attacking. They surrounded their net, chanting some scripture. The spatial gate that they opened began to transform. At this moment, strange marks appeared on it, and an aura that made people's hearts quake came from the other side. Long Chen's heart also pounded in his ears. You killed Ji Yui Yun, enraging the killing god. He has ordered us to use our lives to open a path to summon his divine statue. At that time, the killing god will use the divine statue as a vector for his descent. What awaits you is only death. Repent in your despair to atone for your sins. The runes on the transportation formation were quickly condensed, and a statue slowly appeared. It was in Puta's statue. Seeing Long Chen trapped, Bai Shishi's mother tried to go help him, but she was blocked by the Flying Cloud Cave's master. Your opponent is me. Ha ha ha, I really wish to see in Puta's clone descend. Just how will you endure his wrath? He laughed. Bai Shishi's mother snorted and slowly formed hand seals with her left hand. However, just then, 
For some reason, she stopped and continued fighting her opponent with her sword. With Long Chang trapped, those divine lords that had temporarily stopped once more bounced on Bai Shishi and the others. Bai Shishi was fighting alongside young master Chang Chuan, Chen Feng, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, Lu Obing, and the others. Bai Shishi and young master Chang Chuan both possessed the power to fight divine lords, especially Bai Shishi. Her primal bloodline had fully woken, and none of her power was leaking any longer. The might of her sword was something even divine lords had to go all out just to block. They were fighting four divine lords together. They wanted to quickly kill these people and go assist Long Chen, as long as they could kill one of the few divine lords from the Blood Gill Hall that were the main pillars of that formation, they could create an opening for Long Chen to escape. However, the four divine lords that they were fighting were being extremely cautious, they were now stalling for time, waiting for Anputa to descend, that made Bai Shishi and the others even more anxious. Bastards, why can Long Chen kill them as easily as chickens? But it's such an effort for us, Lu Mingxuan attempted several direct blows but wasn't able to gain any advantage. On the other hand, her own blood chi was shaken, infuriating her. King Gaiyan, Chen Feng suddenly shouted. After that, his blood chi erupted, and he slashed his saber at one of the Divine Lord's weapons. This saber contained his full power, and it broke that Divine Lord's arm, startling him. Just then, a sharp sword light flashed and cut that Divine Lord in two. Not even his Yuan spirit could escape Navaloon.com. Mew King Gaian had been protecting Bai Ziol after he lost the power of his eyes, so no one had been paying attention to her. But as soon as Qin Feng fought for an opportunity for her, she didn't disappoint him. Kill. With one of the four divine lords slain, Bai Shishi and the others were reinvigorated, while the three divine lords panicked. Immediately, one of them was forced back by Bai Shishi's sword and young master Chang Chuan took the chance to pierce his chest with his bone spear, that person screamed and fled. The remaining two divine lords also didn't dare to continue trying to block them, and they fled. Bai Shishi and the others were delighted, however, just as they stepped toward the formation, an icy-faced elder with a wooden cane in his hand blocked their path. Silver Moon City's Lord. Upon seeing that elder, countless people's hearts thudded.